So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? Well, hello there. You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just- Oh, dang. Um... Checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kind of sweaty? Yep. Mm. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, so we got two options here. Blame the security guard or stick up for the security guard. I heard final strike, but I mean, I'm. he seemed really nice, so we gotta cut him a break here. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh... Definitely checked my ID and even did a pat down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. <laughs> I feel very what safe in his big sweaty hands. Oh. Fine, whatever. Okay. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign up waivers Todd. before you can begin training right. today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Uh, no, I, I was FaceTiming Filming's somebody. not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd. Turn it off, please. Alrighty, so we got four choices here. We got MMA fighter, pro athlete, indie wrestler, or actor. Um, when I actually checked this out on my personal account, I started off as actor. And then I did another storyline for MMA Fighter, which both I really personally liked. But, I don't know, maybe I'm feeling a choice between more of a actor vibe with my character here. Because, I don't know, just cause. Alrighty, we got... Alrighty, now if you give me a moment here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my character made. And I'll show you guys who he is in about a little bit, so... I'll try to get him done as soon as I can. Here's our boy. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Hmm, eh, I've seen worse. Hey. So now what? Don't get me started on the tattoos. Right the that took me forever. It's time to start. Front desk. What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. <laughs> then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Hey! Listen, for one, I ain't interested in you, for, and for two, what you think I'm doing in that locker room? Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Don't call me new guy, or rookie, or any other condescending Yeah, guy. I'm a pro, man. Especially since from what I hear, you guys have only been here a I week. I play WWE okay, 2K19 and 2K20. And I have right. experience. I've only been here a week, but I've been doing this since I was a kid in Mexico. Which is a lot longer than you. So what? Your dad or uncle were wrestlers or something? <laughs> Must be nice. No, I got myself here. And I got myself here, sorry. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean any disrespect. I think being called those names just rubbed me the wrong way. Since I definitely paid my dues in Hollywood before this. It's all good. So what brings you here then? I'm looking for a challenge. I want to be bigger than The Rock. I mean, we're Charlie King after all, so we got to be King, so we got to be bigger, be than, bigger the Rock. than The Rock. He was a WWE champion and then became one of the biggest movie stars in the world. I'm going to do the same thing, but better, since I already have the entertainment experience. See what I mean? So you're here to be bigger than The Rock. Or because all your acting gigs dried up. I'm Screw also you. Here to beat up nobodies like you. We'll see about that. That guy was a prick. I don't think I like him. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. 
Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. Uh, bigger, actually. And? I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was too busy carving out a successful career in Hollywood. So you're some kind of actor slash reality TV star? Man, you guys are all the same. You come in our sport thinking it's gonna be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to LA with a broken face. Maybe you can play a, an ER patient or something. Oh my god. You're all talk, man. You remind me of a lot of the guys in Hollywood. You know what? Screw you too. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to deal with me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. Yeah. In a wrestling ring. Which you have very little experience in. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. Now listen here, orange guy in a tank top. The last two guys were pricks to me. You better be nice. I swear. If you're not nice to me, then I'm a freaking DDT, body slam, and freaking suplex yo booty hole. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Are you a referee here or <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of funny. I had <laughs> no, to choose that. man. I'm training to be a wrestler. I know I'm a bit on the smaller side. But I'm actually crossing over from another line of work, too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. So this guy was once a frog. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. Kind of sounds like a, I guess. that mascot would the be a frog. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time. Where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Okay, he's kind of cool. He seems a little dumb, but... So that explains it. You're Lawler's charity case. It's not like that. I deserve to be here. You'll see. Sure. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was gonna ask you to autograph something for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. You know what? You're a prick too. I signed a whole bunch of waivers already, saying I'm not liable for anything I do to you in the ring. How about I give you one of those? I'd prefer a signed script, but I guess that'd be cool too. Thanks. See you out there. Break a leg on your first day. Remember, WWE is just like Hollywood. You have to stand out from the pack and do whatever it takes to get noticed. Don't worry about whose toes you trample on. What kind? Kind of like when we dance at the awards show after, after party. You weren't... Weren't you in a walking boot for two weeks after that? Yes. But you can't make an omelet without breaking some toes. Don't let fear stop you from trying something new. Aim high and make an impact. I appreciate the motivational speech, but I'm an outsider here. It might be better to lie low and blend in for once. I'm your agent, not your conscience. It's your call on how to handle yourself. Good luck. Alright, so we got... I'm going to earn everyone's respect, and I don't care who I upset. Well, ooh. You know what? <clears throat> I'm sorry. We gotta be kings, and we don't care who we upset. You know... I think you're right. I'm going to make an impact here. I don't care whose toes get broken. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. Yeah, shut up, Ribby. I was just telling him about your cool Freaking DX intro you mascot. did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. 
Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, Big Shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy? Since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Shawn Michaels. Mm. Uh, choose from the guy standing next to you. I'm not an option. Look, I could beat one of these guys, but that would be expected. I want to do the unexpected in WWE, like defeating a two-time Hall of Famer on my first day here. I know that might rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I want to make an impact, and I want to do it right now. Uh, Hunter, you seeing this? This is your chance to say you're kidding. I'm not. Oh boy. It's cool. I'll do it. Sean, that's really not necessary. Look, if I was standing there in his shoes 30 years ago, I might have said the exact same thing. I'm not the HBK I used to be, but one thing hasn't changed. I don't lie down for anybody. Let's see what you got, kid. All right, you bring Let's it on, go, old man. Sean. Teach him why you're the showstopper. Sorry, I was. Yeah, shut up, Chase. Old habit. I'm gonna show this guy who we really are. We are the king. All righty. Oh. Yeah, you thought, huh? What you gonna do now, huh? What you gonna do? Ooh, I'm getting pumped. Oh boy. Oh no. We getting we getting booty whooped. Oh right in the rib cage. Ah Yeah, you really think you could beat me like that? Who's a boss now, boy? Oh. What was that? You really think you could beat me? Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. My face. See what more moves we got. Owie. You pulling a combo on me now. I really regret choosing this career path. We ain't doing bad so far. I think we'll just have to stick to our uh, usual fighting route. And we should be just fine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you thought you were slick, huh? You thought you were slick. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at the moves of Charlie King. Oh. He's got my moves all studied, boys. Yeah, that's right. I shattered your knee, boy. Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh. Oops. I think I I think I busted an eyelid. 
Ow. I'm okay. Can I reverse that? Oh. You thought you could tap me out? Ow, my nose. Uh oh. This ain't good. Can we do it? 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 We gotta do is just knock him down. When we're not getting beaten up. Yeah, that's right. You slipped. Yeah, that's right. You slipped. Ooh. Alright, here we go. Going for that final finisher. Going for that final finisher. Going for that final finisher. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Samoan driver. I don't even know what that was, but I'll take it. One, two, three. I'll hand it to you. Took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring. Yeah. I said I was going to make an impact, and that's exactly what I did. It was a risk and also a bit of a shortcut. From my experience, those two things don't always work out. But this one did, didn't it? I guess so, since Triple H just texted me that he saw our match on his live feed. Ooh. He said he was impressed, and he'd be keeping an eye on you. Well, there you go. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, except for my sore back. Throw some Neil's born on it and call it a day. You'll be fine. Today. Now I'm paying the price. Just keep in mind this is one match. You still have a lot to prove before you're ready for WWE. What the hell was that? What do you mean? Somebody jelly. I mean calling out Shawn Michaels on your first day. There are unwritten rules to follow here. There's a system in place. Who do you think you are to just ignore all that? I think I'm the top prospect now. No, just because you caught an old timer off guard doesn't make you the top anything. That title still belongs to me and everyone here knows it. Well, listen here, Paragon J. Pierce. That old timer was a two time Hall of Famer and a veteran, so you're just jealous. That's not what Triple H posted on social media. Wait, what mm. did he say? Man, it sure is easy to get in your head. I'll keep that in mind going forward. Just so you know, I'm not cool with how you acted on your first day. Challenging Shawn Michaels might have worked out, but it isn't how we do things around here. So I'm not trying to be cute or anything, but you're in my doghouse. Let me save you some time. If you're looking for some kind of apology or for me to admit I was wrong, it's not going to happen. Fine. If I can't talk some sense into you, then maybe I can get through to you in the ring. Are you saying you want me in a match? Damn straight. You and me today, one on one. Alrighty, sounds like one of my sounds like one of the other coaches here need another ass whooping. Well, you know what? Bring it on, old man. I don't know what you think you're going to accomplish, but I'm going to beat another Hall of Famer. And if you ain't down with that, I got two words for you. Too bad. See what you got. Ooh, you thought you was tough, huh? Yeah, yeah, you saw it. You saw, oh, oh, somebody's got some fight in him. Oops.
Ow, ow. Yeah, that's right. I busted your face open. On for the count. On for the count. On for the count. Elbow smash. Finisher. Come on. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Oh. Heck yeah. Alrighty, so I kind of want to work on my uh, upgrades for a little bit. So I'm going to start with everything. So I think striking, defense, well, submission. We got to figure out how to get out of those. Or, wait, no, I think that's that's a better chance of submission. Never mind. But, but that could be useful eventually. And we got resilience and grappling. I think I'm satisfied. Wait, hold up. Oh no, we could even. Ooh, would you look at that? If we upgrade our guy right now, we could be a 79 overall. I'll take it. Trying to show me up. Road dog, through you can do what I couldn't on a bad day. How'd that work out for you? Ha! You got whooped by Charlie King. That's who we got whooped by. Just had a brand all new brand meeting with the GMs from WWE NXT, SmackDown, and Raw. The WWE Universe is in for some exciting stuff for the fans. We're doing our best to deliver the best sport in sports entertainment, boss. Wow, you're always sucking up. Personally, never have time for it too busy managing the WWE Raw and making my brand better than yours. I see the kids are fighting again. Face palm. So, Road Dog and I were thinking since apparently you want to stand out so much around here that we should come up with some new ways to challenge you Ooh, i'll take it let's see what we got what you have in mind one of my favorites is what i'm calling show up or throw up basically you have to do 500 squats and then wrestle chase without throwing up you know what i'm in sounds easy enough I'm in. Good. Try your best not to throw up. Road Dog has a weak stomach, so he'll start blowing chunks too. And it could get ugly real fast. Man, Chase is so easy to freaking take out. Or not. I. I'm wrong. Alrighty. Thought you was tough. Yeah, that's right. Uh, move, move. Uh oh. I mean, I'm in the learning phase, so give me a break. Ow! Ooh, my nose. Ow. My beautiful nose. Great timing. Our guy can do some stuff here. Uh-oh. I think I regret doing those 500 squats. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. Ooh, right in the jewels. So close. So close. Yeah. 
Oh, right in the face. Come on, Chase. Come on. Get your booty up. Get your booty up. Yeah, that's right. Alrighty, so we're gonna have to end the video right here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to... Drop kick that like button. Body slam that subscribe button. And DDT the notification bell for more... WWE My Rise content. I ain't gonna ask for much if I can at least get one like... Cause I ain't selfish. One like at least. Then maybe I'll do part two. Depending on how much time I have. Due to personal life stuff. Anyways guys I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.